get that. Okay, I want to come to the question here is this. Um, uh, maybe before I go on, how's your health right now? That there was a little bit of a scare uh, to a huge uh, number of us when we hurt, and subsequently, uh, again, media says that you have rebounded and you're strong. And how do you feel in terms of your health, actually? Well, Isma, how do you feel about my health now? <laughs> um, generally, you very radiant, very positive. And I think uh, we have great confidence, but maybe uh, you'd like to say, and maybe you should also tell us how can how health is so important to all of us now that we have experience. Well, well, I've, I've experienced literally a life and death experience, and uh, I must say that I've been very, uh, very lucky if you are not religious, and very blessed if you are religious, and I'm very touched that. Uh, you know, I, I met so many different religious groups, including those in an inter-religious organization. I, had, I was there at one event, and somebody said, uh, you know, one group came up to me and said, Mr. Hing, we pray for you. And the second group said, we also pray for you, and we also pray for you. So regardless of race, language, or religion, I've been blessed by uh, so many different groups. <laughs> and, uh, I, you know, you know, I'm very touched by the the support that Singaporeans have showed because I have so many uh, uh, well wishes, cards and flowers that were sent to me when I was hospitalized that uh, the, you know, it's really, really very moving for me. Now, um, how was, first of all, for, for me it was an extremely, uh, it was a, a close shape because I collapsed at a cabinet meeting and uh, Luckily, in the cabinet, we have some doctors, several doctors, and one of them, Dr. Jan, who happened to be uh, an expert in looking after babies uh, in, in emergency. So he gave me very good first aid. I was, I was, the ambulance crew gave me extremely good support, and when I went to uh, Tantoxin, they were able to uh, deal with me almost uh, immediately. Because it so happened that the surgeon was on duty and he has not gone home. And uh, I, I recovered quite well. One of the things which our hospitals are doing a great job is that a group of them, because when you are in ICU and you're motionless for a number of days, the, your body starts to lose its function. The muscles wear off very quickly. You could hardly uh, sit or walk. <coughs> the muscles, the, the nature of the body is such that if you don't use it, you lose it. And uh, by the time I was awake, you know, I recovered. Uh, I had a very because I had a very bad lung infection. Because you, I, I caught a very uh, vicious bacteria, which was attacking my lungs, and my lungs was, was almost gone. You know, and uh, luckily the, the they say, well, you're, you're lucky that uh, your heart was able to take the medications. Uh, and, Glad that you were exercising, and at the end of it, I also managed to uh, deal with the lung problem. And uh, after that, I was not allowed to move, I mean, go out in a public place for almost a year because they said if you catch a cold, you're going to be back in the hospital and you're going to be worse. So it, it is a real traumatic experience. Of course, the person who suffered the most was not me, it was my wife. Uh, not knowing whether I'll be dead or alive. And uh, she also asked the doctor, no, what happened to him? So we don't know, we can't tell. Right? First, whether he'll be dead or alive too, when he wakes up, whether he'll change personality, whether he'll recognize you. <laughs> so it is a really uh, traumatic experience. But I'm very touched by it, first the dedication of our medical team in our hospital to uh, you know, the support of so many Singaporeans and of course, my family is a great support. Now, uh, after that, I asked my doctor, I said, you know, am I at a, a particular risk? Why, why me? You know, I've been exercising. So my doctor said, well, unfortunately, low risk does not mean no risk. <laughs> and that was the tagline that we used when I was in the police force. Singapore is no crime, but doesn't mean it's completely no crime. So you see, got to take precautions. So my suggestion to everybody my, uh, is that please take good care of your, your health. Uh, 
no, no work too hard. In fact, I was suggesting to uh, Ismail just now. I said, you know, you should, uh, you have your productivity app, right? Maybe part of your productivity app, you should add in something like a Fitbit sort of thing and say, you know, probably agents walk how many thousands of steps every day in order to close a sale. So you are also exercising while you are doing your sales. When you're taking clients to see a property, you know, if you're, if you're taking a bus, drop one bus stop early and just walk. If you're driving, you go find a free, a, a parking space that is free parking, you just walk. Yeah, so you save money and exercise at the same time. But seriously, I think uh, we do need to take care of our diet. Uh, I eat less now, so I feel a lot healthier. I do more exercise, practically every day, if I, uh, especially you know, if I don't have night uh, meetings. And uh, just to make sure that you don't take health for granted. It's very easy to take things that are in our life for granted, whether you know, it's our own uh, health or our loved ones. So don't take things for granted. Just keep at it. Thank you so much for sharing something very personal about what you have gone through, a traumatic experience, but having said that, we are so thankful, uh, blessed, and we wish you tremendous great health as you lead us to the generations in terms of policies uh, for all of us to grow and 